Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Today's video is a follow on from the previous video where I upcycled an IKEA lamp with a crushed glass and resin lampshade. This time I've decided to create an ocean inspired lampshade for the same lamp from IKEA. So I used the same outline that I used pre in the previous video and used the Lares packaging to cover the centre hole. I've just taped that down just so that it doesn't move. If you normally watch my videos you'll know that I normally use acrylic diamonds for doing the outer surf areas but this time I decided to try using white stones. Now they're not perfectly white and um, they do have some imperfections in these however for the purposes of this I thought I would give it a go and see how it, it, get, it comes along. So all I'm doing here is I've just mixed up some resin and I'm just mixing the stones in with a small amount of resin just making sure that these are completely coated in the resin before spooning them onto the design. So just like my previous lampshade I'm going to create a barrier around the edge so I'm spooning large chunks of the white stones around the edge this gives it, I mean, you will still get some resin creeping through here, but it does act as some kind of barrier so you can retain some of that shape. So I'm just spooning that on there. And then I've mixed some India ink in the resin because I still want the translucent look. So when wanting a translucent look, I usually stick with ink because you need a few drops to tint it. Whereas if I use pigment, it could end up being a little bit too opaque, but I want the light to be able to shine through this. Well, it is a lampshade after all. So I've used a, like a cobalt blue and a teal in the center. Now this is just an, uh, a little bit more of the, the teal color just poured over the top, just to make sure that I've got enough resin in the center so that when I come to shape it, it's not too thin. And just being very mindful of blowing out the bubbles. I've only got it on a low setting because I don't want to melt the plastic underneath. Next, I'm just dragging a stick through there, just adding a little bit of mineral turpentine to try, try and help break that up a little bit and just pulling that through just to drag some of the darker blue through to the lighter shades. Next I've mixed up some of the Lares white in with the resin and I'm now creating the wave effect. Because the, like I mentioned, that it's sitting on plastic, I don't really want to use a lot of heat like I would normally. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm using some mineral turpentine again and dragging it through the white to help break that up and start creating some cells. And this worked well um, on the thinner resins. It's a little bit tougher to do on the thicker resins that I found out when I used another brand of resin. But on, on some of the thinner resins like this one, the mineral turpentine works quite well. As you can see, that breaks that up a little bit. I'll also add a touch more white to this just in areas that I feel that it needs a little bit of extra white and also I'll add more white to the outer stones because the outer stones are quite yellowy um, rather than like pure white like the Lares pigment paste so I'll pour some more white on top of the stones just to give it um, just to break that yellowy colour up a little bit.
Now I think this actually looks quite nice even before I shape it to the lampshade. And then this will be left for around about three to four hours to allow it to cure. In winter I will actually leave it a bit longer because it takes longer to cure in the winter months but because it's still quite warm here it only takes um, three or four hours to cure. So now this is cured enough it's now time to move it to the lampshade. With having the um, container on the top it's actually made it quite easy to position it centrally on the lamp so it's, it's handy to have that as well as for keeping your hole in your shade. And all I'm doing here is just adjusting and just making sure that the creases are how I want it to look. So now that that's been left overnight, it's now time to assemble the lamp. So same as in the previous one, I've just made sure that the hole's big enough in the center, screwed in the components and put the bulb in. And again, this is an LED bulb, so it doesn't get that hot. Um, when testing this, the resin didn't get hot at all when it had been left on for quite a few hours. So as you can see that's actually quite effective and I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. So as always I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas for creating your own IKEA lamps. If you'd like to see more resin ideas then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of ideas to keep you inspired. So until next time, bye for now.